Okay, we're back. Um, this is round one. And we are going to play first. We are playing against Silat. I'm going to keep it. I like, I like a lot of lands. That's what I'm looking for. And we do have a three drop. I'm actually... Re oh, and uh, one thing I forgot to point out. We're running two Pony Back Brigades. Uh, so that with the altar, which is very conveniently showed up. Uh, that is eight cards if we uh, get to play both pony backs off of our opponent's library. So that right there is almost one fourth of their deck. It's kind of a big deal. There, we did play the altar before playing a land on purpose. And uh, during the break, I had to run to the fridge and get Sam Adams and his twin brother. So I think this is going to be a fun draft, basically, no matter what. I'm actually really looking forward to it. All three rounds. Uh, unless, unless we lose by something really, really stupid, I'll be satisfied. At this point, all we've really done is uh, help our, our uh, opponent get through this mana pocket he's experiencing. Oh yeah, another one I wanted to mention. Uh, Keru Lich Lord, he has Recursion, and also uh, Villainous Wealth. Anything we put into play on our side is going to cause problems for our opponent. Okay, we are looking really good. Holy smokes. Um, him not swinging with the Jeskai student, I think, tells me that... Uh, he's, hey, good for him. He gra grabbed a fetch land. I think tells me he has no tricks, but the next turn we'll be able to unmorph either the Ponyback or the Snowhorn Rider. So I think that that's going to really open up a lot of options for us. Oh no, we're missing white for the Ponyback. My bad. But he did just get his first green mana. But I don't think that's going to... Uh, him Him playing that turn 4 means he just drew it. Uh, unless he plays, what, the 2-2 the two, two green guy? Or maybe the 2-1 gain life guy? Highland game? Oh, he's delving. Hooting mandrels? Okay, good play. I'm actually... I'm going to let... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to let him bring the pain. I thought that I was going to let him swing into my Snowhorn Rider, but I'm going to think twice about that. So we're going to swing the Snowhorn Rider, and then turn it... Like Little John, we're going to turn it up. <laughs> it doesn't matter if he blocks or not, we're going to turn it up. Okay. I think that's like everything. Okay, yeah. I just kind of clicked buttons there. I have no idea what my lands... I wasn't really paying attention to what it needed and what my lands were producing. It's actually kind of funny that it worked. <laughs> I'm in a really good mood. I had a great day today, guys. I'll tell you. And, I, and uh, poor, you know, poor Silat is, uh, is going to be on the receiving end of, of this ridiculous... Oh, I forgot my, oh, my bottle opener in the fridge. Alright, let's do a life hack right here. How to open a bottle with just a b glass bottle of water. A little bit. Which it, what happens is the teeth get underneath the plastic, of the top of the plastic, you know, the plastic top of the bottle. And then you can bend the cap out slowly. You can actually do it in one shot, but the last time I did that, I actually got beer all over me. It was there you go. Hey, hey. You're welcome. This is, these are, what did he just do? Oh, he Azban charmed my dude. Okay, well, we're going to take damage. Oh, I should not have done that. I didn't realize this was six. Oh, well. 
Could really use a white mana. Uh, what I would have done... Eh, you know what? It opens me up for a 1-2... Th for a 4-point Villainous Wealth next turn. I don't want to block with the pony... Ah. Okay, so he's got 20 cards. I actually want to do... I almost want to deck him on purpose at this point, just to say that it happened, because uh, I'm sick of uh, drafting the altar, playing it, and then not getting there. And I don't want to block with a pony rack. I probably should have swung with it when I could have, but I was hoping that the threat of it bouncing against the Jeskai student would keep him away, but it didn't. Would have played the Lich, the Lich Lord last turn. That would have been really good. But I uh, screwed that up a little bit, didn't I? I still need that white, huh? At this point, I, if he swings with the morph, I'm probably going to block with the Lich Lord, because then I'm... Uh, no, it could be a Pine Walker. So I'll probably end up blocking the Hooting Mandrels instead. Or he's probably just going to smite it right now. No, he's going to throttle it instead. Oh, that's fantastic. So if our opponent could stop drawing every single... Oh, man. You know what it is? I got screwed by Delve again. All right, we're going to go to four here, and I think that we might be at the mercy of a villainous wealth, what we grab. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what's going to happen, actually. Oops. Actually, no. We could raid into War Shrieker. Oh, this is going to be cool. We're going to raid into War Shrieker and then upturn pony back. That's how that's how we pull white out of the thin air. It's like a haha. Ironically, that's a magic trick. Let's make me smaller because I'm being a pain. Oh, no, let's make me the same size. Let's put me over here. There's nothing going on over here. So let's put me there. Okay, back to the game. Yep. Doesn't really matter what mana I tap. And I think that kind of brings us, that stabilizes us for a little bit. Okay. I don't want to double block the Hooting Mandrels. Um, maybe I should. I have to block the Hooting Mandrels. Okay. That changes things. Ponyback is going to save us, but I think that maybe we uh, took too much damage. All right. Well, I think here's what we're going to do. If we block, if we double block the Mandrels and then double block this guy, then I think that get, makes him have a decision between saving one or the other, because he can't turn up the morph and cast an instant on the Mandrels, unless he pulls something totally crazy out of his behind, like. Uh, like feet of resist double like feet of resistance and awaken the bear, or uh, is it Asban charm? Does it? Yeah, or another mm -hmm. Asban charm would do it. But I guess that's just where we are at this point. So we have to save one or the other, and then hopefully we villainous wealth into something decent. I 
I think our opponent's like, is uh, doing the ah oh, crap. I didn't realize it was. I think he's just realizing he's probably. I'm hoping he's realizing he's one mana short. Yep, that's exactly what I thought that was. Okay, good. What are you doing now? Okay. Hey, hey, that is a card. Now we have choices here. I think the aerialists are the right move. Our opponent's playing two banners. It's worth noting that we did in the early game we nailed all of his lands. So at this point, I don't think we can afford to be aggressive. I think we are just on the deck the opponent game. So when we can get four of those cards out of there with Villainous Wealth, plus whatever we hit for a four or under, I'd be happier if we had five, though. I want to do five, because there's a lot of big five drops in this format. That's a card. Holy mackerel. That just put us on a huge clock. That's a... that's... Uh, wow. You know, I... I feel... I gotta tell you, I do not feel like an intelligent person, because every single time I play Alter the Brood, it comes back to beat me in the face. <laughs> Good news is, is that since he played all that stuff, uh... He didn't swing because he didn't have mana for attack. All right, so he's looking to. All right, villainous wealth is our only out. So let's see what we get. Um, well, I mean, I guess before I hit OK, I would like to say thank you for watching, and I hope that I don't look totally foolish. If I hit four things here, then we win. Oh, we only hit two. Wow, this guy pulled a foil bloodstain mire and a windswept heath. Good for him. And we hit we hit a second Asban guide and we hit a shambling attendance. I do want to say it is impressive. Well, it'd be really cool if we survive this next turn and then drop something the following turn. Then we get to win by decking. Uh, that's this guy, really? Wow. I, now I don't feel bad of winning. Before I felt kind of bad. I felt like our, our deck was a little bit bomby. Oh, no. What does this mean? Okay. Come back here, magic. I'm going to pause you while this loads up. Okay, we're back. Uh, theoretically. As soon as this loads. Okay, now we're back. What did he do? Okay, he delved something to kill something. see what he did. So he th he throttled our long shot squad. And then I guess he screwed up the delve somehow on our aerialists. Okay. Can we survive this? Let's see. Uh, 
Um, what's the biggest things he got? This goes there. This goes there. That goes there. I mean, we're taking one extra point of damage. But then he gets rid of the Kintree Warden, rather than us losing our pony back. I really like this. So basically, if we play something next turn, we're going to deck him with Alter. That would be helpful. So, any land... Alright, we win! Alright! We, we, <laughs> we won with Alter! I told you it was a good card! I'm a I'm a fan. <laughs> uh, we were actually okay. So assuming that he, we, not assuming, we just beat him with that card. So now we're going to take it out. This is some sideboard tech right here. He's a little bit of a weenie deck, is he? Not really. No, he's got some morphs. I'm, I'm actually going to run the trap essence instead of. I know that's not true. Where's that trap essence? I'm going to run the Sultai Charm to kill that uh, the Delving Flying guy. The monocolor mm -hmm. creature thing. And uh, do we want to have any other answers to stuff? I don't think... I think we're okay. But I think he's going to... He's probably going to sideboard in a Naturalize. I don't see how he couldn't. If he's got one. So that's why we took out the... Uh, the altar. Ah, oh, we got screwed on Lance, huh? Yeah, we're going to mold a six. Ah, that's rough. I guess we'll keep it. Can't go to five. That is impressive right there. Okay. Pulled out of it. I'm a big fan of all that, though. That was fun. I am a big fan of, of uh, well, first of all, I'm a big fan of this guy's foil bloodstained mire. That's pretty, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Good. And he got the windswept heath. This guy's having a really good draft. He's probably, and you know what? I was wondering how we got past the Asban. Maybe he passed us the, uh, the Asban Ascendancy. That's a real possibility. So we already have Sultai Charm ready to go. And I just need to hold off on blowing it until that uh, necro Necropolis Fiend, whatever he is, until he hits the board. Let's put me over here. No, let's be over here. Really happy I drew into a morph there. This way I can swing into his 2-2 two -two and then War Shriek into his... Maybe another morph if I draw it. That'd be great. That stinks. We're actually we're gonna burn our Soul Tide Charm on his Bloodsucker now. As soon as he gets, as soon as he taps anything. Or we're just gonna kill it with debilitating injury. How do you like me now? I knew that was a good pick. I'm a big fan right now. Nah, this deck is so much fun to play. Alright, I might actually start forcing this in the future. This is a lot of fun. Especially with, with a lot of dual lands, it just seems like you always get handed what you need. Morphing into the Ponyback Brigade was, uh, was the big play of last game, I think. I'm really happy, actually. A little bit disappointed that we can't play War Shrieker into anything. Um, but that's all right. Uh, 
Ah, uh, we don't have any white, do we? Oh well. I'm gonna try to get in there with the beats while we can. You know what, I can always just... Oh no. Let's see, I'm just thinking Trail of Misery. So this guy's gonna activate his second fetch land, making this look like a standard match. Wow. That's colorless. Does that mean it's monocolored? I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna try to target it. Uh, no. Okay. Um. I'm pretty sure that's Asban Guide. Not sure if we should turn it up. We do. Uh, we don't have two. We don't have another black to either pump or regen Rakasha. So we're gonna. Ah, I'm not sure which is right. Yeah, let's turn it up. It's it's a better use of our mana if we turn it up, and then we also get the card earlier, and then we mana we can play. That's good. So next turn we can put down uh, Karu Lich Lord if we want to. Pretty sure this is going to be turned into Asban Guide right here. Which I'm okay with because uh, it wastes his turn. I guess just War Shrieker. And then both Rakasha and Woolly Loxodon. Or Lich Lord. This way, uh, yeah, next turn we can morph into Loxodon if we want to. There's a lot going on on this board. This is pretty, this is pretty intense. Or at least there's a lot going on on our side of the board. Our opponent's a little bit screwed. If he swings into our Glacial Stalker, I, we could just throw everything in front of it, right? No. I mean, Become Immense would be actually a little bit ridiculous here, but whatever. I don't know if he was expecting us to block or what. Eh. I'm going to question that later. I don't know what that was. shamelessly uh, selling him on the on the channel. I'm a little bit confused. I don't know... Uh, I don't know what our opponent thinks he's doing. Let's put it that way. So this time we're gonna we're gonna keep Rakasha... Does it matter if we keep Rakasha back? I don't know. Let's just see what happens. I'm gonna turn things sideways. And then I can either unmorph the locks six 
789. Holy smokes, we have lethal on the board. Right? If, if he doesn't block the morph, then we have lethal. Right? Six. So say he blocks... I don't know, Warshrieker... I don't know. Say he blocks something that's not this. So let's just say one... Warshrieker. Sure. Screw it. Let's just find out the hard way. I don't care. Six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah. Do we have lethal no matter what? Oh, was, here comes a kill shot. Or what is this? Okay, well, now, uh, at least it's that, and now we don't have to blow mana regenerating it. Thanks, I guess. Now, if you don't sacrifice your morph, then you die. Now you die. Alright! That was match one! I'm a little bit of a fan! I mean, the computer crashed, so that sucked, but, uh... Yeah! Getting it done! Alright, I'll see you round two.